One of the most powerful blows in boxing is by far the uppercut. Many a knockout have come from the uppercut, and there's a very good reason why this is so tactically superior as well as even with power. One is that the, the uppercut, when it comes through, is under your opponent's vision. Typically, if they're focusing high line, coming up under here has, hits kind of a blind spot in between, especially in when you're in close, in the close quarters fighting, you come in like this, it comes up your opponent's center line right underneath their vision, like they don't even see it coming. The other thing is that it does take advantage of the center line. The center line of your body is a really hard place for most people to defend against. They don't really defend their center line very, very well, and it's easy to take advantage of that, especially when you're in a real street fight, you're adrenalized, the, the, the hands tend to not focus on coming in the inside, they tend, tend to go to the outside and focus more on striking. So the center line is usually open on your attacker. And the other thing is that in the uppercut, the primary target there is the chin. So when you come up on the chin, that is, or that can be, a knockout blow. What ends up happening is it, it tends to throw the head back, hits the nerves in the back of the spine here, really just cinches down on them, and it can be an instant knockout blow. And very, very powerful. Now, the problem is, though, with the uppercut, is that number one, if you're not in a boxing ring, you don't have gloves on, you have a much smaller striking surface. So if I'm coming up now, if I have big gloves on, it gives me a lot more fudge room in here to be able to strike him, actually hit him in the chin. But if I only have my fist and I'm coming up and under, well, now I've only got this little two inch square versus my knuckles that I'm trying to reach here. And in a fight, people aren't staying stationary. They're moving around. They're naturally moving during the fight. So as I try to come up with an uppercut, most likely my hand's gonna glance off here. And I'm not gonna really do, I'm not gonna get that head snap that I'm really trying to accomplish there. The other thing is that when you're trying to punch with an uppercut, you end up, the, the way that the angle is, is that your wrist is already starting to bend toward you. So as I come in, even if I make, even if I hit my target, what ends up happening is it really folds my wrist. And you don't want to take out your primary striking tool, if you're, you know, this hand right here, you want to be able to be able to use this without having a broken wrist and not be able to strike with it. So there's a better alternative to the uppercut that uses the same benefits here. And that's to use your palm heel with the uppercut. Now here's why it's so powerful. It, all ha it has the same benefits here as coming in the center line. Okay, so with the palm heel, basically you're, you have the same motion, but you're striking with right here, the, the, the palm of, uh, of your hand, the heel right here, which is right, located right just above your wrist. So as I come up, instead of punching, I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna strike right up the center line with my palm heel. Now what this does is, again, goes underneath his vision, takes advantage of the center line, is very, very powerful now because I'm putting my body up into a basically a, a push, a shove, which is very, very powerful. You can get your, really get your, your, uh, your body behind this instead of having to come under with the uppercut. Here you can come under, you can push. Now you have better body function here, puts more power behind it. I have a larger striking service than just my knuckles. So I have a better chance of hitting my target as well. The other thing here though is that it gives me a lot more options for attacking in the close quarters combat. So as I come through here, even if I miss, I have my whole hand that can go around his face. So it allows me to come in, grab the back of his head if I want to. If I come up here, even if I don't get that knockout, I get that really good shove that I can shove the back of his head back and really take advantage of that snap that happens there. Plus, I can reach my fingers down, claw the eyes down, I can just basically grip into his face here. I can really do a lot of, lot of damage there. So it gives me many more options than just coming up with an actual punch that way. It allows me to come in and grab the back of his head. If I come off this side, I can grab the back of his head, get into a clinch here, bring in with my knee. It gives you a lot more options there. So instead of focusing on the uppercut and these boxing moves, or if you are a boxer and you're looking for a more applicable, uh, uh, better application of the uppercut, Focus instead on the palm heel. Practice this against a dummy, practice this against your training partner, and you'll see that it allows you the same benefits as the uppercut, but it's much more powerful, and it gives you a, a lot better options in close quarters combat.